Another organization that is very much in need of donations is the Divine Providence Homeless Shelter in Hazleton. FYI's Lisa Sugar and I stopped by the shelter this week for an update on the Giving Shelter campaign. I am pleased to be here at the Divine Providence Homeless Shelter in Hazleton with the Shelter Coordinator, Mary Jo Pancala. We're giving you an update on our campaign, Giving Shelter, which is sponsored by SSPTV, the Hazleton Standard Speaker, the United Way of Greater Hazleton, and Catholic Social Services of Hazleton. Mary Jo, we see shelves behind us that are looking pretty good. So how has the response been? It's been wonderful. These shelves were bare just a few weeks ago and we actually had to have an event where volunteers came in and helped us for a day organize all this stuff because we, we we needed to have it where we knew where we could find the things uh you know it's just been coming in and we're having a hard time keeping up <laughs> Well, that's good news. It's a good, Very good, good, news. good news. We're seeing the food pantry items here, but you also got blankets and clothing. So tell us what the update is on that. Okay, it, we're good now with blankets and comforters and sheets and clothing. Uh, coats, coats are always needed, especially now. Uh, gloves, socks, and long underwear uh, for both men and women could be very, very, very helpful for these folks that are trying to keep warm in the daytime. And you're providing meals for the people who are here, so you always need volunteers to make the meals. But you need paper and plastic products to serve that. You said coffee items, too. Yes, yes. We get a lot of our food from the Weinberg Foundation. However, uh, we don't get coffee and sugar and the, the powdered creamer and those kinds of things. And that that's a hot commodity in the shelter. We go through several pots each night. Uh, so, yeah, we can always use coffee, sugar, those kinds of things. Well, I know Neil had said last week he was so proud that there is this shelter taking place, especially in this extreme cold that we've been experiencing. How many people have been coming in and utilizing it? Okay, we're back up. The numbers were dropping down as the weather got better, but now we're back up. We're, we're up at 15 now, and I know that uh, if the weather continues, which it will, it's Hazleton, um, we will be back up again. And with the, the bunk beds that were built by Faith Assembly, we can house up to 24 people. Wow, that's so, wonderful. Yeah. And when we're, we're talking about the items, though, that you needed, you came up with an interesting item. You mentioned bus passes. Tell us why bus passes are now also being sought. That, yes, and it just dawned on me. When people are wonderful, they keep asking me, what could they use? Bus passes. Because if, if the residents can't get to their job interview or can't go to make that application or make it to their job, they can't take the job. And, you know, the first step is usually get the job, then get the apartment, and then transition out. So bus passes would be a blessing. Oh, well, we hope people watching will continue to make donations. The Giving Shelter campaign continues, and we want to make sure that we continue to provide the help that is needed. If anyone wants to volunteer in any way, whether it be time-wise, meal-wise, donation-wise, where do they call or what do they do? Okay, call Catholic Social Services, 570-455-1521. We're open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, tell them... Uh, you'd like to speak to Mary Jo, the shelter coordinator, and we'll we'll get you active in this great pro program. Neil is so proud. Like you said, he, he's been trying to do this for over 21 years, wow. and finally we have it. And lastly, I, I would be remiss if I messed this, the PayPal account has been established as well, and there is a link on ssptv.com. People can make a financial contribution right to the shelter. That's correct. That's correct, and that that's another major major help in you know because we're paying for the utilities we're not paying for this sh this site the church is so generous and allowing us to stay but we're we're heating it we're lighting it so you know those kinds of things and every every little thing that else that comes up <laughs> absolutely well, it wouldn't have been the success it's been thus far without the help of you, our viewers. So Absolutely. please continue to support the Giving Shelter campaign to benefit Divine Providence Homeless Shelter right here on North Laurel Street in Hazleton. Go to ssptv.com to click on PayPal link so that you can make a financial contribution or any of the donations that Mary Jo mentioned. Please help. Let's help keep everyone warm this winter. The campaign is accepting new items only, and you can still donate through the end of the year. You can make a monetary donation through PayPal. We have a link on our website, ssptv.com.